I'm Joe and this is Amy. Uh, we're the Frytags. We graduated here at Monmouth in 2007. I'm Adam Carlson, uh, graduate of 2004, and this is my wife Michelle, also graduate of 2004. Yep. I'm Nate Johnson. I'm a 1998 graduate of Monmouth College. And I'm Regina Johnson, and I am a 2001 graduate of Monmouth College. I'm Erin LaFerry. I'm Ethan LaFerry. And this is Henry. And we met our very beginning of our senior year here at Monmouth. And I lived in the Kappa House, right across the street from Wallace Hall. I lived in Bowers, and uh, we would meet in this spot every morning for breakfast. Yeah. And then about two years after graduation, we lived apart. And then um, we moved back to the area. After that, we got engaged a year later, right here. This spot here. At this spot, in, at Wallace Hall. I was smitten from day one, but it took Joe a little longer, I would say, to warm up to me. <laughs> we were in an orientation group together, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually don't remember meeting Amy, but she remembers meeting me. We I think that's there. important. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we were in our, fresh, our freshman um, ILA class together and actually had to sit next to each other mm -hmm. uh, because my last name was Freitag, Amy's was Gustav, so F and G. We also had um, our English class together and I was always trying to walk back with Joe to the cafeteria and he was so shy that he would just take off. <laughs> so. Shy or practical, like, you know, like I might be going somewhere else. And so it would have been our junior, junior years um, my roommate at the time, my current, had said, hey, what do you think of Michelle Flair? And I was like, well, what do you think I think of Michelle Flair? She's pretty good looking. <laughs> um, and he said, well, his brother kind of wants me to set you up with her. And I said, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds great. So Mike kind of set the floor for us and all and kind of set everything up. And So then next thing I know is Saturday afternoon. He's at uh, right here in Glenny Gym and playing a basketball game. And he asked me out that evening um, and we actually went out with Mike and Heather. Uh, we went to dinner and a movie and um, waited for about a week and then we went bowling and then kind of just here Drove we are now. Winter storm yes, and, yes, yeah. that was a big, big winter storm that night. Um, and then yeah, now we're, we can't leave Mammoth. We're still here four kids later and there we go, there we go. Nate and I met in January of 2001, officially. We went to school here together for a couple of years. Two years. Um, had lots of mutual friends, but uh, never really spoke to each other until I started student teaching. And part of that was because I think he was scared to uh, screw up saying my name correctly. <laughs> I did have to ask a few times. Yeah, <laughs> we had a mutual friend who student taught at the same time that I had to continually ask, what's her name again? So, yeah. <laughs> Apparently it stuck. And mm -hmm. so uh, we inevitably hung out a few times together. And I think we both were a little shocked that there was uh, more than probably friendship hanging out underneath the surface. So um, we officially started dating March of 2001. <laughs> We got married and I surprised him. He, we had talked about when we were planning um, having bagpipes at the wedding because that was kind of a thing. I think that's mostly the thing when you go to Monmouth. And so um, I told him I couldn't find a bagpiper. But in reality, I had found one and surprised him um, at, at our wedding. So we actually got to walk out to the fight song. 